Hey everybody, welcome to this week's energy update. I'm Chrissy Key Rollins and every week I like to bring you just a fresh perspective to invite back into your life, to do some self-reflection on, to see if it helps you to make a little bit more sense of what's happening in your life and in your world and help you to feel more empowered and open up more choices on how to respond to life so that we can start to shift out of this responsive or excuse me, this reactive life experience where you're just kind of like throwing something at you and you react and here comes something else and you react and here comes something else and you react to having a more proactive co-creative experience in your life. So what is on my heart to share with you today is a reverse angle than what I usually bring. So for the past, well, for the past few months, we've been wrapping, ramping up to this moment in time right here right now that is upon us. We have moved through the lion's gate, which I talked about last week. So we are starting to have some clarity come into place, some confusion clear out, and things are starting to fall into place. Or they are not. Let me explain this just a little bit more. As we have been facing our past cycles, been going through some some similar circumstances and experiences like what we've been through in our past, not to repeat patterns, but to give us an opportunity to make a different choice, to go in a new direction, to become more aware of and break out of our patterns and habits and rhythms that are keeping us stuck in cycles in our lives. While this has been happening for us, and if you've been following these energy updates, I've been talking about this week after week, I want to offer the flip side of that. Not only are you going through that, you and I, but so is everybody else. So as you are interacting with people, if you're like, okay, Chrissy, I have been gaining more clarity. Things have been falling into place more easily for me, but people around me are just freaking out. Understand that it's not just you that are given the opportunity to break habits and cycles, but so is everybody else. And part of your life experience may overlap with somebody else's soul refinement and evolution, and you could be part of the experience and patterning that they are having which means you could be having your clarity, you could have things falling into place, but yet for some reason, for certain people in your life, you still seem to be tripping over things or whenever you're around them, they seem to be triggered by how you are being. It is not because you are missing the point, it is because they are going through their own refinement. So it's even more important that we settle into who we are, speak up and bring outwardly into the world that which is happening internally because those around us will not know what we need, what we want, what we're thinking or what we mean if we don't give further communication. And it's important to know as you go through your refinement evolution, so are others. So perhaps your next level of patterning to break is how you react when other people freak out. And that could be part of what is being brought in. So I want you to take that back into your life and reflect over that. If things seem to be falling into place for you, but other people seem to be a little bit more disruptive, understand they're going through the same thing. So instead of you just taking things personal, instead of you just reacting or disengaging or distancing yourself, it's an opportunity for you to engage in a new way in that pattern in your life and to open up the doors of further communication. And what happens with further communication is that you actually get to receive more. So if you're somebody who's on a prosperity consciousness expansion expansion journey, if you're somebody who is looking to expand your abundance mindset, if you're looking to receive more of what you want in life, life is saying, okay, your next lesson, now that things are clear and starting to fall into place, is to learn how to receive on a deeper level. And receiving on a deeper level often looks like giving more outwardly. So the way that I am harnessing this into my life so that I, I don't end up depleting myself with my outward giving, which most of us who need to build our receiving muscles are really, really good, really good at giving outwardly. But to learn how to receive inwardly, for many of us, one of two things is happening right now. We are either, if you're, if you're in that place where you're still feeling like, but, but where is that more? I've been working on the abundancy. I've been working on the prosperity mindset. I've been working on, you know, my affirmations and expanding my consciousness. But you're like, where is that next level? I'm still stifled. I'm still not receiving. Then life is probably reacting to the fact that you're doing one of two things a little bit too much. One thing 
is that you're hustling a little too much. Whenever you hustle, whenever you're trying to make things happen, you are going to exhaust yourself, you if you haven't found this out already, and what you're going to do in all of your busyness and all of your keeping it together and all of your making things happen and all of that frantic hustling energy, it is actually stopping you from being able to receive on a deeper level. It's a scarcity mindset that keeps you reaching outwardly for the answer instead of being still in receiving inwardly for what it is that you're so looking for outwardly. So for a lot of us, if you're like, wow, I have my rhythm, I got my clarity, things are falling into place, but yet I'm still not receiving. This is your opportunity to receive in a different way by giving up what it is that you think you need to do in order to make things happen or how you think things need to be in order to have the flow or get things done in your day and see how giving other ways will actually give to you more in return. So what do I mean by that? I mean, if you typically are giving to yourself by checking things off your to-do list and in checking things off your to-do list, and by the way, I'm just speaking about my own life right now, in my busyness of checking off my to-do list, I often will overlook things that are actually the most important to me. I will justify my busyness to support the fact that my family is my number one priority while sometimes stepping over my family to get the busyness done to provide for them. And what I am challenging myself to do is I have proven that I can hustle. I have proven that I can do what it takes and make things happen. So I believe my next lesson is to learn how to not be the one who makes everything happen. Because if we are so busy making everything happen, how can life step in and support us? How can life step in and take over? And I'm just hit this point in my own personal journey where I'm willing to experiment with, if I give outwardly first, Will that actually give that other person what they want and in turn give me what I want more? And if I loosen up my ways that I have to have things, like I think I'm going to move from this task to this task to this task, and I instead say, actually, I don't have to do this all in the order that I say. If life presents something else along the way, I'm going to challenge myself to say yes to it. If it's something that aligns with my priority and my family does, right? I'm going to challenge myself, if I give in this direction, if I give three minutes of playing Legos and take a three-minute break from what it is that I'm doing, in the end, will I still accomplish what I'm doing and also truly honor my first priority, which is my family? This is what I'm experimenting in your life, and I share it with you. This is what I'm experimenting about in my life, and I share it with you to give you a practical, tangible perspective to bring back into your own life. The takeaway that I'd love for you to have for today is if that clarity isn't happening for you, we're going to flip this around. What happens whenever the energy is right for a bunch of clarity is that if you're still feeling your, your way to your knowingness, it's not going to feel like more clarity. That energy that supports more clarity is actually going to have a little bit more shadowed effect on you. So you're in one of two, you're in a couple of places right now one of a couple places. Either things are clicking and falling into place, you're, you're having some more clarity and things are just kind of rocking and you're, you're feeling this up, up swing of inspiration and organization and cleaning out and um, reorganizing everything and starting new projects and you got a clear vision on where you're going. Or if you're still in a place of not knowing yourself, not trusting yourself, still disconnected from yourself, this heightened energy of clarity and doing this is going to feel like I should be and what's wrong with me and I'm more lost than ever. So if you're feeling the more lost than ever, that is your invitation to stop looking outwardly for the answer and start looking inwardly for the answer. If you're finding yourself with that clarity, with things settling into place, and you're hustling right along, but yet still things aren't falling into place, and you're not receiving the way that you want to, I invite you to be still and learn to receive in a backward manner that's a little bit different than we've been conditioned in our human experience. Somebody's here watching live. I'd love to know who's here. So if you can chat in, I'd just love to know. So if you've been feeling that clarity, things falling into place, and then you've been dealing with disruptions of other people, remember they're breaking their habits. If you've been not feeling that clarity and more lost than ever, take time to be still and go within. I try, Believe me, you have the answer within you. That agitation is your denial of looking at what it is that you know. Let's set up a time to talk. I can guide you through this process very, very easily so you can relax into it. Just gain a little bit more clarity to know which direction you're going to go. I do that as a gift for you. So reach out to me if that's something that you're looking for. Um, people are going through their stuff. 
the clarity is hitting so you're getting that ramped up of, ener of energy if that's you great keep going with it as other people are freaking out they're going through their own stuff and if you're going through the hustle but you're like where is my stuff be still relax because if you're so busy doing all the things life cannot get a word in edgewise life can't support you if you're out there doing the nine to five hustle day in day out it's going to provide for you the way that you're putting in energy but if you say you know what what is for me is in front of me and that's where my energy goes and see how life meets you there it's what i'm experimenting with so far i highly recommend it so i invite you to try it out in your own life you can always go back to the freak out right but life's really supporting you and facing your fears, leaning in the direction that you don't typically go. And if you seize this opportunity, you're going to get the rewards on the other side. And if you drag your feet through it, just know that's okay. It's okay. It's totally okay. You cannot mess this up. You're not doing anything wrong. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. But if you do feel like you're dragging your feet, it's just going to prolong everything out. But just know it's okay. That just means you got more to clear out and you'll get there. It's okay. And in truth, you're already there, and it's just that distance and that judgment. Yeah. So anyway, what card came through for today? To back up what we're saying, I didn't even look at it until right now. Card number 38. Card number 38. So I'm going to take this as if you are looking to, if, if you're in I, either of those three places, either clarity is falling into place, so you got that upswing of energy, and you're rocking and rolling along right? If you got that where you're hustling along, but you're not getting the results, if you're feeling more lost than ever because of the ramped up energy and it's just not clicking for you, or if people are around you because they're freaking out, this is the answer. This is the guidance that I think is coming through. And I'm not just saying that because it's the guide card. It's card number 38 is guide. And the message on it is a guide mentor, a trustworthy ally. Now, often these guides can show up outwardly, Myself, for example, I help to guide people through this experience, guide them through these unseen, um, uncharted territories, people who have walked the path, who have been the example. There are guides all around you showing you a different way to be if you got your eyes open and you can allow yourself to receive it. Now, the important thing to remember about the guides is that, yes, it can be the outward mentor, the outward signs that show up along the way. So this is saying that you are being guided. Open your eyes. Look for the signs. Don't take coincidences. Notice the the details and start to contemplate get curious about it get curious about life get curious about what you see around you don't take it don't take it as circumstance that you were reading a book last night that mentioned a burrito truck and then your husband starts a conversation about a food truck and then you watch a movie the next day where a guy's eating burritos because that's his thing and you have these crazy synchronicities don't overlook it now that doesn't mean necessarily quit your life and go start a burrito truck. It just says life is noticing that you are noticing the synchronicities and the details. And life will guide you through the synchronicities and the details when you have the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, it's all being revealed to you. So look for those messages, look for those guides, look to connect with those guides. And also remember, guide yourself through this journey. Pay attention to what's coming up on the inside and learn how to be your own navigational guide. Happens to be in my wheelhouse, my zone of genius, what my daily conversation is in and out, which is why I bring you these weekly updates. So if I can be a guide for you, reach out and connect. If you want to guide further with these gorgeous mermaid oracle cards, join me over in the Conscious Success community here on Facebook or over on Facebook if you're watching this on my YouTube channel. And um, I'm going to do a three-card spread there. I do it every single week so you can gain a little bit more insight, a little more self-reflection points, and would just love to know. Anything that I've said in this video, if you've watched this point, if anything that I'm saying is resonating with you, if this is syncing up with what you've been experiencing in your life, if this is helping you to make more sense of it, or even if you're like, Chrissy, I don't know what you're talking about, and you feel inclined to reach out and share that with me, drop it in the comments below. I just want to know, is it just me? Am I the only one that's going through this? Is it just me and my clients? Because I talked to them, and I know they're all going through it. Or is it all of us? Are we part of this collective human consciousness in which we're just human designs that are infiltrating and deciphering all this energetic information. And when we can learn that what we give to others, we give to ourselves and what we give to ourselves, we give to others. Perhaps we can be more compassionate and have more of that experience that we all know is possible out there in our lives. So if you want to join that conversation, join me over in the Conscious Success Community or join me in person. I host two leadership luncheons a month. I also do a monthly women's group that gather here in the Clayton Garner area. And I host a weekly online networking meeting for business women 
as well. So plenty of ways to plug in. And I thank you for watching. Feel free to share this video with others. And uh, thank you for your feedback. I know that this is one of, um, I get a lot of positive feedback on these. So thanks for that. It keeps me inspired and keeps me showing up every week to inspire you. All right. See you again soon. Bye.